Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with another get ready with me. It is very early in the morning as you can see and I'm gonna be ready for work. But I thought I would do a get ready with me. I have promised this get ready with me for a long time. Um, I actually asked for my Instagram a while back and um, what palette to use for this video but then I just never got around to filming it and then my laptop broke as you know so I just got behind on videos but I thought I would schedule this get ready with me now for the month of July when I'm posting every day and I'm filming this very last minute but I'm excited to get into the video I'm gonna do I don't know what kind of look I'm gonna do it probably won't be too colorful of a look I have all of the products I will use today in here um, and as you can see in the title, this is Get Ready With Me Using All New Products To Me. I got a couple of products from my friend Martina a while back and these are all the products that I haven't used yet or, um, you know, majority. I have used most of the things now, but these I have saved for this video. So I will use them today. And as you can see, the palette that I'm going to use is the Stole Vibes palette from Urban Decay and it looks like this. So, you know, there is a couple, couple colourful shades in here, but I think it's going to be a bit more of a neutral look today, but we'll see how I go. So before I jump into the Get Ready With Me, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So I have zoomed you guys in and I'm going to start by priming my lids. I don't have any eye primer, so I'm going to use my normal one, which is the P. Louise base. I'm trying to finish this one up. It is not my favourite, but it does the job, so I'm going to use this one. So my eyelids are primed, so I'm going to go into the palette next and I think I'm going to try to use all of the masks. I'm going to try building my look. So I'm going to start with the deepest shade which is third eye, so I'm going to put that one on my outer corner. So there we have that shade and then to blend that out I'm going to use the shade Hexed which is the second deeper shade right here. I'm going to use that to blend it out. Um, so yeah I'm just going to take that and I'm still focusing on the outer corner but start blending that out. So there we have that shadow and then next I'm going to do with the next lightest um, matte shade which is Antidote right here and we're going to take that and blend everything out. So there we have the mats, very basic, um, because yeah, I think the mats in here are quite basic. I mean, I used all of them and this is kind of look that I got. You can kind of smoke it out, I think, if I used more of the deep shades, but I wanted to use everything like that. Um, I still have the lighter shade to use. I guess I could have set my base with that, but I don't set my eyeshadow base, so I didn't use that for that. But maybe I'll use it in the inner corners, or yeah, maybe I'll do that, I think, because there's not really an inner corner shade in here. So I think I'll use it in my inner corner. But the question is then, what shade should I use for the lid? The eye that stands out to me the most that I think I want to use is Tiger's Eye right here. I think that's what I'm going to use. Maybe I'll use a little bit of Bloodstone as well on the outer corner. Just to get a few more shades in. And then 
I have an idea too to what to do, but I'll sew with those two shades and see how I go. So I'm gonna put on my glitter glue. This is from the Pastel Roses, and so I'm gonna put that down just to get a bit of a tacky base for the shimmers to go on. So let me put that on, um, and then we can go in with the shimmers. So, like I said, I'm gonna go in with uh, Tiger's Eye next, and I'm just putting that up on a brush. I don't know how this is gonna pick up on a brush, but I'm gonna give it a go first. I never worked with this formula before, so we'll see, but I'm gonna apply that. And that's applying really nicely. I'm gonna apply that all over the lid, leaving a little bit of the outer corner blank. And then for my outer corner, I'm gonna go in with Bloodstone, which is that like blue to, it's like a um, blue-brown pigment, I guess, but it's more of a green-leaning one, I think. It's this one down here. So I'm gonna put that up on my brush, same brush, and just go in on my outer corner, kind of blending that matte shade with that shimmer shade. And there we have that look. I quite like it. I understand why this palette got a lot of hype, especially for people who don't have in the shadows, because these shadows are quite textured. There's lots of multicolor sparkles in them. I quite like them. Yeah, I'm really happy with this look so far. Then next up, I had an idea which might ruin the look, but I'm going to give it a go. Because I want to play with one more of the shadows, like one of the more of the shimmer shadows. So I'm going to go in with, I think, Ojo, Ojo, which one ever that is, this blue one right here. I want to go in with that as like an accent color. So I'm using like a small brush and I'm going to pick that up on my brush. And I want to pick that up and put that up here. So we'll see how this goes. Like something like that. Let me build it up a bit. But yeah, it's having this as an accent. Yeah, like that. I think I like that. Yeah, I thought I wanted to do something different, and especially because this palette is so neutral and the look is so neutral. I just wanted to use one of the shadows in more of a creative way, so. Let me go and try to match it out on the other eye. And then just for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with uh, Opal R, which is the lightest shade in the palette. Uh, which is this one here. I'm going to put that one in like at the lower part of that blue. Um, just like towards the inner corner. A bit different but i think it's nice so that is basically the eyes done lastly for my eyes i'm going to use going with good karma which is the lightest shade lightest matte shade and i'm actually going to use this on my inner corners and um, i usually use a shimmer shade there but this one doesn't really have a super light shimmer shade the lightest one is good aura but i wanted to use a bit more of a neutral shade and I wasn't sure either if that shade was going to be too deep. So I'm just going to go in with this shadow as the corner highlight. Something like that. So with that, the eyes are basically done. So I'm just going to go in with my base next. So for my complexion product today, I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream in the shade Natural 5. I, yeah, I haven't used this one before. I hope the shade matches me. It was a little bit too deep for me before, but I have been on holiday, so I'm hoping that it will suit me now. And that looks like it's going to suit me, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, it might be like a tad... It's one shade too deep for me, but I think that's fine. Um, my face is a bit too pale compared to my body anyway. So I'm actually going to start by trying to apply this with a beauty blender. And then if it doesn't work, just use my fingers. But we're going to go in with a beauty blender to see how it goes. I 
think that works fine with the beauty blender. Yeah, that's definitely fine. Okay, I could like the finish of that. It's quite like glowy, um, but it's also very natural on skin, and it's not like it's not overly glowy. I don't always like glowy things because. I don't know, they just make me look oily, I guess. Which I think is quite uncommon because a lot of people who have dry skin, I have like normal to dry skin, um, they like a glowy base, but for me sometimes it just gets too much. But yeah, I really like that look. I need to apply a little bit more for my nose and my forehead. But first impression. Yeah, good product. Again, it's more of a summer shade for me, um, but that's fine. We're in summer now anyway, so, you know, and it's quite, obviously quite um, sheer. Like, it's not super full coverage. It's, I would say it's like light to medium. It's not too, um, too light either. Like, sometimes, you know, I get these in the moisturizers or whatever that are super light, but yeah i like the look of it and there we go that is the base moving on we're gonna go with the concealer next and the concealer that i have to try is the nars radiant creamy concealer i actually have used this one before but not this color this is in the shade creme brulee which i think it was um like one of the most popular shades i guess but i had one before but it was way too deep for me when i used it so i'm gonna go with this one under my eyes and I think this should be a good match for me. Looks like it is. And I think there's nothing else to really that I want to conceal today. I think I'm gonna stick with quite a light base and see. But I think it should be a good match for me. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna actually, and I said I wouldn't, but I'm gonna conceal around my nose a tiny bit. Because I have a little more pigmentation there than I wish. So I'm gonna put a little bit there. And that looks good to me. So. Next up, we're going to go in with powder, and the powder that I'm going to use is the Kosas uh, Cloud Set Powder in Comfy. This shade as well is a little bit more of a summer shade for me. I'm just patting it on here to see so it doesn't make everything too deep, but I think if I use a flash brush, it should be fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. So, let me just set my face with this powder. We'll see. I don't know how it will go under my eyes because it is more of a, I don't know, it's it's not the lightest shade ever. The products, like my, the products I have here is from my friend Martina and she's a little bit deeper than me. So they work fine for me in summer. Like, you know, it's not like they're not matching my neck at the moment. I think it's actually quite a good shade match. But in front of my eyes I think it might be a bit too deep so I'm not going with my just regular translucent pipe around my eyes just to make sure it doesn't deepen my concealer and this by the way is the hourglass um, translucent veil is that what it's called? yeah the hourglass loose powder that is what I'm using under my eyes now so there we go, that's the complexion. And yeah, I'm really really happy actually. I like this a lot. I like the Bare Minerals product. I like the powder. It's looking pretty good. So next up we have cheek products. I have two things that I want to use, which are these things here. We have the Cheek Stars Reunion Tour. This is the from Benefit. It has like a face palette, which looks like this. And actually I haven't used any of the products in here apart from Hula. So we have Dallas. Sugar Bomb, Cookie, Georgia, and Dal uh, and sorry, Hula. And I have used Hula before, but not the other products. So for bronzer, instead of using Hula, I'm actually gonna go in with this one here, which is the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed, which looks like this. So I'm gonna use this one for bronzer, and then I'm gonna use one of the cheek products in the Benefit palette for cheeks. So let's start with the bronzer. I'm just gonna pick some up on my brush and just go in. I don't know how pigmented this is yet, so I'm just going to start gently and build it up. But this is more of a red tone bronzer, I think. So I think it's going to be nice now for summer. Um, and I'm very excited about this bronzer actually, because I've heard a lot of good things. 
Okay, it's definitely buildable, it's not too intense. Um, and I like the color of it. It's definitely more of a summer bronze for me, more of the undertone than the shade. Like, it's not too deep, but it just does give that sun kiss look. Hence the name, I think, because it does have those red undertones. But yeah, I like it a lot, and I think that is good. So, for blush, I want to do one again with Sugar Bomb or Georgia. I think Georgia might be a bit too light at the moment. You can see it down there. So I'm gonna go in with Sugar Bump, I think, actually, to use on my cheeks. And yeah, I mean, I could have used Dallas as well, but I feel like Dallas is a bit more of an autumnal blush. So I wanna go in with Sugar Bump. Okay, yeah, that's nice. It's quite a subtle blush, but it's definitely giving some color. But yeah, that looks good. And then lastly, we have the highlighter, which is also from this palette. It's the shade Cookie. And I haven't used this one either in the past, but I'm excited too. And there we have the complexion. That's pretty much done. So all I have to, have to do now is do my eyebrows, my mascara and my lips. So I'm going to go off camera, do my mascara and my eyebrows. Just because I think it's easier doing that off camera. And then I'm going to go in back to do my lips when I'm done. So I'll be right back when I have my like kind of eyebrows and mascara done and we can move on to lips. So I'm back and I've done my mascara and my brows, but I want to go in with the palette one last time. And I want to put one of these shades on my lower lash line. And the one I'm going to go with is the shade Meditate down here. I'm just going to put that as like a kind of lower lash line out of corner shade. Just to get a little bit of shadow down there too. So I'm going to apply it right there. Um, as the last kind of finishing touch on the lower lash line or like for the eyes as well. So I actually used a lot of these shades. I used 9 out of 12. I used Good Karma, Opalara, Tiger's Eyes, Tiger's Eyes, sorry, Antidote, Hex, Bloodstone, Ojo, Oyo, um, Meditate, and Third Eye. So I used everything apart from Raw Energy, Vibes, and Jade. And yeah, I quite like how this look came out. But yeah, that is the look. So last up for today, we are going to go in with lip products and I do have one lip liner to try and then glosses. So the lip liner that I have is actually from Pat McGrath and this is her lip liner in Divine Rose. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this and then I'm going to put a gloss on top. So there we have that lip liner. I quite like it. It's definitely a nice shade. Um, then lastly we have glosses and I have three to choose between. We have the shade Secret Lover, we have Twilo, Twilo, yeah, and then we have Peach Pervasion. So all of these, I think this one would go best with the gloss, but I think it's going to be a bit too much with the eyes. Actually, no, I'm not, I don't want to go with that one. I think the one I'm going to go with is this gloss here, which is the shade Peach Perversion because I feel like it's going to lighten up the lip a little bit and hopefully that will work. So let me just apply this and see how it goes. And there we have that lip. It's definitely quite a glossy lip. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I mean the gloss in general is nice, but it's just a little bit not much. Yeah, I think the gloss is just a little bit too much for what I like, so I'm just gonna slightly roll it down to try to get away. Yeah, that's better. It was just a little bit too much. I think I like glosses, but especially when like lip liners and stuff underneath, they can just be a bit intense for me. But that is basically the finished look, guys. Um, it's a bit more of a neutral get ready with me. Let me zoom back out before I wrap up the video.
So there you have it. Uh, this is the final get rid of me. Again, a bit more of a neutral one, but I wanted to use this palette thing against this was the one you voted for. I mean, I could have added lashes if I wanted to and stuff like that, but I am just gonna go to work. I'm still in work in about 55 minutes, like, like quarter past seven. So I have plenty of time to continue like with my morning. I'm actually planning to film another video, like an overhead video, so I'm gonna do that next. And yeah, I just want to share with you my get ready with me finally because I promised this one video for a long long time using all new products and honestly I'm really really happy with how things turned out. Let me give a little quick I guess wrap up of all the products but the base I think turned out really well. Um, it doesn't feel heavy. I can tell like if I look really really close up I can tell it's like one shade too deep for me but that's fine um i mean i have been on holiday but i do sometimes fake tan even deeper than this so i can tell it's a little bit too deep for me but it's not a problem but my skin looks very natural very smooth yeah i really really like the look of this bb cream foundation whatever it is the bare mineral rose convection rescue i might actually pick this up in a lighter shade because i really like it but i want to play around with it more obviously first but that is the yeah i really like that one as well my favorite things also, the powder looks really nice and hydrating. Again, I might pick this up in a lighter shade. I actually was thinking about this one before anyway to pick up, to try out. But yeah, I really like the powder too. The cheek products. The bronzer is a nice shade. It's quite buildable, which is nice. I thought it was going to be way deeper, but it's quite buildable. Um, so I think that's a really, really nice product. I really like that one. The Benefit palette like benefit shade cheeks products are good it's nothing exciting to me so you know they are good they're nice colors i'm really excited to play around with dallas but i thought they wouldn't really go with this look so yeah i want to play around with that one for a different point um the eyeshadow i really like i like the like the mention in the sparkles again obviously i have indie shadows that are way sparkly wear more shifty than these but i think they're really really nice for a mainstream palette i really quite like them they're quite shiny too i mean the concealer is actually really nice too i haven't used this concealer for a long time but it does really smooth out my under eyes and i really like that one too then the lip products lip liner is amazing i really like the lip product the formula um of the lip liner was very smooth it didn't drag it was very very nice to apply and it was a nice color too the lip gloss i have Pepper Girl lip gloss I've seen before. I like this one too. I don't maybe necessarily like it with this lip liner, but I just tend to not like uh, lip glosses with lip liners. So I think that's why. But yeah, that, those were basically all of the products that I used today, and I really like most of them. There's not really that was a big fail. Um, I like how everything turned out. So that is it for today, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me for more of a neutral everyday look. Let me know what kind of get ready with me you would want to see next. And otherwise, I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.